Hey guys, welcome back to Legend of Podcasting. I'm Stuart. I'm Ross. I'm Rob. And I'm Liam. <laughs> Sorry to, to interrupt you there. No, uh, it's okay. What were you reading there, Liam? <laughs> A little something called Shazam! So guys, we're about to watch the Shazam trailer that just dropped at San Diego Comic Con, and we were all very pumped for it. I don't know if you uh, have seen our previous podcast, but we've actually spoken to a guy in America who caught a few first images and we've done a podcast on what we think is going to happen in the film mm-hmm. so it's going to be interesting to see if we're anywhere close yeah. to yeah. what we said <laughs> but all of the all of the stuff we've seen coming out of the press releases and stuff has been very positive so far the images of the suit looks great yeah, um, yeah. Well, so, um, it's, just, it's just going to be I mean we've just watched the Ackerman trailer go and check it out on our YouTube if you haven't already um <laughs> And that was that looks pretty epic. And I think this one's going to be a bit more fun. Yeah. And I want it to be a bit more like it needs to be like Tom Hanks is big, but a superhero yeah. movie. Yeah. Thing. That's what I'm looking for. Are we going to see Black Adam? Maybe. Uh, I mean, no. no. I think if he's going to be in it, it'll be in the post credit scene. Well, The Rock has um, The Rock was asked about that on the uh, somewhere at, at Comic Con. Um, someone asked him, and he said he is not in this movie. Um, I mean, oh, maybe yeah. he is. Just it, maybe it's going to be a surprise. But he was very. Very firm with it and said that he's not in this movie. That is going to happen as a separate movie, which is called Shazam and Black Adam, was what he said. That'd be cool. Well, I say, I hope this one does well, so we can we can definitely get that. So we've got Dr. Um, what's his name? Not Shiv- I was going to say Shivago, but that's not right at all. <laughs> Savannah, that's all right. Savannah, Savannah, yeah. <laughs> We're taking this the podcast to a whole really. new level. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he's been playing Mark, Mark Strong, so it'll be interesting to see what he looks like mm, as well. Yeah. But, Anyway, right. let's, let's stop this jibber jabber and, and let's, let's watch this damn trailer. You run from foster homes in six counties. I can take care of myself. Rebel. Give these people a chance. Because that's what they're giving you. Is he going to be wearing that loads of them? Or just <laughs> here, loads of them? Nice house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's wearing that kind of t-shirt. Okay, I can wear a t-shirt, yeah. <laughs> Really massive superhero fan. Dude, just messing around. <laughs> you look at me and you're like, why so dark? You're a disabled foster kid. You've got it all. Oh, all right. Yeah. Oh, man, this guy's a fucking... Oh. So he's definitely going to tell him, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, dude, you're kicking the disabled kid. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Oh, uh oh, I know where this is going. Yep. Yeah, then the proper origin. Wicked. Oh, here we go. Son. <laughs> we should just have him. I'm a massive boner right now. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> Over a small child, Stu? I know. We're <laughs> an old man, even worse. Oh, he's got the but chest. Yeah. Name, For real. <laughs> 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 oh, mm. wicked. Nice. Oh. <laughs> this is Billy! <laughs> what is happening? You're the only person I know that knows anything about this Cape Crusader stuff. Good night. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's pretty awesome. What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude? I don't even know how to be in this thing. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's pretty nice. cool. Also, awesome as well. That's, that is, uh, that's what I want. That's what I want. I'm sorry, actually, was that <coughs> humour no. I saw in that film? That was that's that was exactly fun. what I want about it. An actual kid with yeah. superpowers being yeah. like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they nailed it. I didn't even know like, he had like, proper powers. You yeah, had to test yeah. it all out. Yeah. That's cool. 
That was awesome. That, that whole montage is going to be It worse. totally was a kid as a superhero. Yeah. yeah. That's... Uh, <laughs> I love the fact that, um, you know, he's big fan of all other super you've got all the other superheroes in it the superman in the newspaper he's actually the got battle ring found as well yeah that's <laughs> pretty cool yeah that's wicked yeah that, it's just that's, i can't wait to see the sort of say the montage of him trying out all his superpowers mm. yeah and then him just trying to learn how to be a because i guess he'll take it as sort of a joke he's like yeah you know, hit thieves out of shops and then yeah. he'll, he'll meet mark strong and be like oh crap yeah it's mm. gonna get take real this, take this seriously kind of thing yeah what's well, when he said shazam when he was walking that's yeah, so just, cool yeah oh <laughs> the suit looks great as well. Yeah, I love the, the fact that the, the lightning sort of comes off of it when yeah. you get near it, and yeah. yeah, yeah, that was very cool. That was a nice touch. Although Doctor Savannah being as strong as Shazam, that's interesting. He didn't have any kind of like special suit or anything there. He was just standing there, and he was able to stop, the punch. to stop the punch. They introduced him in the New 52 and he was a magical villain rather than just a scientist as well. So maybe yeah. they're giving a bit of that into it. But mm. the trouble with that was the New 52 Billy Batson was a complete arsehole. So mm. hopefully well, they're not going to yeah, well, I, I think they kind of, do, they, they kind of <laughs> looks like they're doing that a little bit here as well. He's, sort of, he's an arsehole but with a good heart, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. You know, I haven't actually... See, since they did the New 52 um, reboot of him, I haven't actually followed it. I know that they added it at the end of, I think, the Justice League comics. They get like yeah. a couple of pages for it. Yeah. And um, so I got a, a few little bits to begin with, but my knowledge of Shazam isn't the rebooted version. It's all on like the the classic pace, pretty much through to um, through to the new Fifty Two. So that's for me. That's Shazam, um, and that's uh, Marvel, the tone right. that they've got here is just it's great. This is so fun. It's such uh, it's perfect. Like uh, this movie has the potential to be the biggest uh, like the most successful um of the dc superhero movies because this one is actually for kids as well because yeah. um you know it's one that's going to appeal to kids and to grown-ups and um that's what's cool on this because it's the character is actually relatable to kids as well because the idea is it's a kid who wants who can become a superhero what kid doesn't want to do that um my own kids I like want to be superheroes yeah. So know, well, from, from looking at the trailer, it doesn't like he even wants to be a superhero. He just gets picks because yeah. he yeah. he's got sort yeah. of good heart yeah. and sort of like oh well, I better better do take this mm. seriously kind of thing. Well, I so. kind of wonder if they're going down that route they do in the, the Nifty Two Origin story where the Shazam's actually dying and he needs to pick a champion, but he's the only one he can get hold of because yeah, Billy, yeah. on that day Billy performs a good deed by rescuing mm. um, yeah, well, Freddy. So yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but yeah, I guess I guess something like I mean even the fact that he <laughs> he's talking to the wizard and he says what's your name Shazam and he just laughs it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, <laughs> something that's brilliant. <laughs> I mean, that's brilliant. Like, yeah. Really? It's like that's yeah. one of the things I wondered actually about the whole thing. Is obviously we know from Wonder Woman that the Greek gods are all dead. So I kind of wonder how the the, the, you know, the wisdom of Zeus is going to come through in all that because that's mm. one of the yeah characters. So it'd be interesting to see if that plays if that plays into it at all. Or they're just going to ignore that mythos just to focus on the story of the Shazam, Shazam for the yeah. first part. Um, yeah, and I saw it sort of, it sort of <clears throat> makes makes sense. I know he maybe doesn't have superpowers in the comics, but giving the the bad guys um, super strength to actually go up against him yeah because otherwise you need a f you need the first movie i don't know superman and zod was sort of a comparison to it but you need that sort of it's got fight it's going got on chills thinking about superman meeting him for the first time oh you man yeah when yeah. henry cavill i mean <laughs> yeah. it's going to be something annoying because uh, sadly i don't think like ben i think might not do it on batman but you imagine him joining the current justice league mm. yeah. Yeah, like cyborg and flash will be all right like all pally with him <laughs> And then I'll be like, Batman will be like, what the <laughs> fuck is this? It'd be cool. I mean, it would be. It, it wouldn't be unlike in the uh, the animated uh, movies, like Justice League War, when Shazam then joins Justice League and he's all super excited uh, to be around the actual heroes. Like, uh, yeah, like this is just. I'd love to see this Shazam alongside the uh, the current Justice League in the live action movies. That'd be awesome. Go cool, ahead. Well, hopefully, he might show up when they get around to doing a Justice League Two. I don't see why he can't he can't join. Well, Henry Cavill was shown on set, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's was so he depressing. actually shown on set? Yeah. He was oh. actually taking pictures of while he was there. But he was dressed as Clark Kent. He wasn't a Superman. With a moustache. With he, a moustache. He, <laughs> <laughs> he could have just bumped. Literally, in the film, he could have just like, bump, yeah. bump into just Clark Kent down the street yeah. by accident. That'd be awesome. Mm. Oh, that would simple. be great. Just to be just a real throwaway moment just happens to bump into him walking down the street. Yeah. Well, the yeah. thing is, like, if Shazam is there fighting and, like, you know, you see in the sky with this lightning coming down mm. and stuff, why would Superman not go up and have a look? Mm. Hey, what's going on? 
and then you're like that's why that animated movie is quite cool with yeah, um, Black, Adam, yeah. Black Adam versus I mean if they do a Black Adam versus um, Shazam movie it'd be great to have Superman in oh, there as well yeah. to mm. reenact that sort of 40 oh, minute yes. animated movie so that's such a good film you say that because I think um, bearing on my the, like you say Liam I did read the the origin story in the New 52 they did and it kind of kicks off with Dr. Saban who's an archaeologist rather than a tech villain mm. in this one and he finds Black Adam's tomb uh, accidentally opens it Black Adam gets out and he gets magic as a result of that mm. and that's why he's so powerful in that okay. so I kind of wonder if that's <clears throat> going to be where that ends yeah. he's going to let Black Adam out and that's where the that's going to come in oh, yeah. cool. well, when it? he wakes him up he, yeah. takes, he gets the powers fights his arm and at the end of the movie Black Adam finally wakes up mm. that'd be cool and yeah. then that's the ending and you're like that's it set up for the next one mm. that'd be cool that'd be, that'd be awesome this is oh, let's just let's just watch this again because yeah. I want to watch it again. Yeah, yeah. You want to watch it again? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I was just it's awesome. You run a drug buster homes in six counties. I can take care of myself. <clears throat> when you're 18, give these people a chance because that's what they're giving you. He's a great costume. Yeah, he looks like him. Okay. Proper teenager. Oh, really nice, like rich, quite looking like a good house. Make sure you make him feel at home. I'm gonna try and see if I can see. Don't buy it. It gets real game of thrones around here. Just messing around. You look at me and you're like, why so dark? You're a disabled foster kid. You've got it all. If you can have one sort of help, what would you say? If you have a backpack, but everybody chooses flight. You know why? So they can fly away from this conversation. Fuck, he picks on a disabled kid, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Who's playing Shazam? Isn't it the guy? Like so everyone else Sorry, on the, the train just disappeared. Is it Shazam? I mean, not. It's not the guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. What the tour? That looks yeah. awesome. But I no, the black dude sure. that had tried to get this one. Are you for real? Oh. Okay. Shazam? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> don't scream. <laughs> I'm going to say, don't scream. You're the only person I know that knows anything about this cake crusader stuff. Can I? Oh, shit, yeah. I wish he had his That's eyes cool. screwed. That's, That's very cool with the lightning. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how to be in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was the texturing on the seat. Yeah. Can you fly? If I quit your Imagine what the hot toys going to have that light up thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Why are you talking? Because <laughs> I'm dead. I don't think that's going to buff out. Your phone's charged. Your phone's charged. Close it up. Must be a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. <laughs> That's oh, so cool. That such a good He's got the same walking strut. Yeah. So cool. You have bullet immunity. I'm bulletproof. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Sorry about your window. Like but you're welcome for not getting robbed. Oh hey, it's up on a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> He's out I, think of candy. I think you're right there. He's going to have obviously mature over the course of the movie. I think. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Oh, so cool, so good. Yeah. I missed how you missed that Game of Thrones comment. Yeah, because <laughs> we were talking so, about the Aquaman yeah. 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 It's cool. <laughs> I wonder what the other newspaper headlines are in that drawer. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna get them out. It'll be like a little montage of like different events. That have when happened. Superman died, when Zod turned yeah. up, uh, the Justice League. Justice League. Yeah. 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 Justice League. yeah. Maybe some stories from Batman back in his early career. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So. Wonder Woman. Yeah. I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Why don't you pull a, get a chick's uh, number? Uh, I love it. Your phone's charged. Yeah. <laughs> Your phone's charged. <laughs> the movie just looks so much fun. It's uh, it's yeah. great. Like I'm it's, I'm really looking forward to this as well. Just like Aquaman. Like these two movies look fantastic. Look fantastic. There's a whole different like. I mean, I know Aquaman's going to be a bit sort of still the serious like epic war, but these films seem a lot different from the. BVS and 
Like yeah, one they're moving away like from Zack Snyder's tone, I think. Yeah, to, yeah. To, 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 yeah, I mean, I enjoyed, I enjoyed BVS and, and yeah, just the, yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, it's fine. I <laughs> like <laughs> Zack Snyder as a director. I think he's a really good director. Um, I think it's very cool. And just thinking of the Zack Snyder films as just like with other stuff in the DC um, universe, it's Elseworlds. You've got a multiverse. It's just one of the darker kind of takes on it. But um, I love his work. I loved Watchmen. I thought it was awesome. And um, I really yeah. liked his um, his DC movies. So uh, these these two both look like they fit in within that world, but they show that you can have a movie existing within that world without it having to be so dark and serious. Yeah, yeah. definitely. You know, so... Um, <laughs> we, yeah, I think, yeah, I think well, I'd say Aquaman was definitely portrayed more of a sort of, say, comedic, but sort of like laid back... Yeah, yeah, kind of character, but I, mean, I say you can't really make Shazam a, a, a serious once you, dark character. In, in Justice League, yeah. once once Aquaman was part of the team and getting along, he became a lot more of a fun character. Yeah. At the start, he was quite serious, so yeah. I quite like that they're continuing down that route of having him just yeah. be sort of yeah. not, not goofy, but sort of like she says in the trailer. You know, you, you do your best thinking when you're not thinking. <laughs> kind yeah, of just yeah, yeah. Direct <laughs> yeah, approach yeah. to solving problems. Just a blunt object, yeah. put, pointing him in the right direction. Kind of makes yeah. you wonder what tone they're going to go with when you actually see the Wonder Woman. Yeah, well, interesting. Like mm. in, in the Aquaman one, we saw lots of action. Mm. This one, there wasn't very much. No, no. That. there was barely one any. punch. One punch. There was him yeah. learning to fly and punching. Well, I'm a wall. guessing they're saving so. that. F- yeah, 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 which, is, which would make sense. This is more. This is more of an origin origin story. Isn't yeah. it? It's going to be like this is going to be all about him learning his powers. Yeah. Uh, in an environment he's happy with, and then eventually coming to blows with the main villain. So yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it'd be because you've also introduced Aquaman in Justice League already, so they don't have to do that. But yeah, so it'd be interesting how one trailer shows a lot of. Massive Epic moments. World. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this one's yeah. more of a here's here's the sort of setup for the film. Yeah, so you guys know. What's it's going also on. good like that because you get the big action sequence. You got the guy, just a little man, little yeah. boy, just going to deal with his surroundings, and then something big's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I remember um, a couple of years back um, meeting uh, Michael Uslan, um, who is uh, he had done his his book when it had just been. Um, was coming out he was at a movie festival um a film festival nearby to me and um he did a book uh, it's called the boy who loved batman but the name michael Russell, and you might not know it but you've seen it many many times as uh in any batman movie that you've seen because uh he's the guy that bought up the movie rights for batman um a, a long time ago before batman was a really valuable property so he owns the rights to it and there was a point um when he was trying to get the shazam movie made so when I when I met him, that was the whole conversation I had with him was about Shazam and about the fact that um, that it would be an amazing movie to make. And it has, like I keep saying, the potential to be such a huge thing. And he kept on, he was explaining that any time that he tried to get the Shazam movie made, the pushback he got from the studios was that there's no point. It's the same character as Superman, which it's not. It's clearly not oh, no. the same character Similar as Superman. Powers, but the, the whole attitude's completely Wait, it, different. Yeah. yeah. If you go back to yeah. uh, when Suzanne first came out as a Charlton Comets character years and years ago, it, def- it was definitely a rip-off of Superman. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but over over time it's evolved into something, yeah. something not far more interesting. So, yeah. That's the thing. Like, it's yes, he was introduced as a rip-off of Superman and became far more um, popular and was a, a much bigger superhero than Superman was. And um, but yeah, there are differences it? between the two, and that child element to it, um, and the uh, whole magic being the source of everything is a is a key thing within the DC universe. The difference between magic and regular superpowers. Um, so it's really cool to see that the studios did lighten up um, eventually and have decided to go ahead with a Shazam movie because this trailer alone shows that it can be so much fun. And you can do so much with Shazam that you can't do with Superman, and uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I think it goes back to what you were saying about uh, Zack Snyder versus Jeff Johns, really, in that he's got a very visual director and he's got an artistic way of putting that on screen. But yeah. Jeff Johns loves the characters and knows the best way to bring that out of them on the screen. I think he's so. a good storyteller. Yeah, yeah so, such a good storyteller. So, yeah. I, I love, I've I've got nearly everything he's ever written because yeah. every, every time he writes something, I'm like, I need to get that. I think it's going to be. You good. know, it's going to be good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Without slamming Zach, I think I don't think I could ever see this film coming out on the Zack Snyder. Um, I don't know. I don't. No, think, well, I don't think yeah. anyone would have would have given no. it to him because it, 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 it you need a pick action in it, I guess, but you need the sort of family kitty element yeah. to it. So we'll see. But anyway, yeah, cool. All right, guys, so that was the trailer for Shazam. What did you think about it? Comment below, let us know. Um, don't forget we're on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, and please come and subscribe to us. Um, we'd love to know your thoughts on all 
pro all things we're reviewing also anything new you want us to look at as well we're doing a lot of trailers from san diego this week and then we're going to be going back onto gotham and obviously you've got new tv shows coming out soon so please let us know subscribe and we'll see you guys soon